welcome back to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for August 2021. And we're going to jump right into it. Now, this is not a love reading, but, but if love comes up, we'll be sure to discuss it. Angels and guys, angels and guys, positive energy, positive energy. Yes, yes, yes. Four lovely, lovely hard-working Taurus. Yes, yes, and yes. Moving on to, mm -hmm. let's take a peek, shall we? Da, 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 da. What is going on with Taurus? Do, do, do. Hmm. High vibrations. And remember, Taurus, the, the, um, the dragon's deck, the dragon's deck is always red. Right side up to get out all the positive energy that we can. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add, let's tap it off with the, there we go, the hummingbird deck. Thank you, thank you, angels. We're looking for some, whoa, oh my gosh, positive energy for lovely, lovely Taurus. Yes, yes, yes. All right, there we go. Now we're going to add one from the Buddha deck to get your spiritual message for the month. All right, we have compassion. Yes, Aries had the same spiritual message. All right, now let's move on to your major theme for the month, and that is the Page of Swords with the Seven of Spades, Timing, Jack of Clubs, and the Three of Spades. So this month, I feel like with the Page of Swords, there is an element of a lot of discussion. Um, I feel this discussion, um, I feel like this is new discussion, and I feel like it's about something that, why do I feel like it's something I feel like there's something that there's there's just a lot of discussion okay uh, apply it to your life as it fits a lot of discussion discussion it might I feel like whatever this discussion is it's almost like someone's not following through on that discussion and the seven of space like maybe you discussed we're gonna do a b c and d and maybe the person isn't doing that or maybe that is you that's not doing that whatever it is with the seven of spades the seven of spades can say okay there's a lot of worry a lot of anxiety around this discussion where someone's not following through but with the seven of spades the high side of that is to let it go really let it go everything with timing everything will work out as it should when it should the jack of clubs is telling me there is some youthful energy around this and it feels like with the three of spades you can take that youthful energy okay and you can use it in a very positive way you can use it for your creative i feel like for your creative endeavors maybe you're painting maybe you're selling maybe you're baking maybe you're um planting a garden or YouTubing, vlogging, things of that nature. Whatever it is, it feels like the things that you say that you're going to do might not happen just the way that you want it to happen. And you could, you could, the lower expression will be worry, doubt, let it drive you crazy, or you could release that energy and let it just flow. Just let it flow, okay? Just let it happen when it's meant to happen. If you were supposed to start your business, maybe you, you wanted to um, have a a date to start your business on, let's say, the, the, the August 14th, right? And it doesn't really happen until August 16th, okay? Then that's the day it was meant to happen. So don't fight the universe. Don't fight it. Go with the flow, okay? And don't let it drive you crazy. Just add more creative energy into it, okay? All right, now, major theme for the recent past. You had the Justice card reversed with the Five of Clubs gather, the Five of Clubs again, and the Four of Diamonds. So in the recent past, with the Justice card, I feel like there was something happened, something went down, if you will, that did not seem fair. And I feel like your mind was all over the place about this. You know, I feel like whatever it was, you were trying your best to hold it together, but it just wouldn't stick, all right? But nonetheless, nonetheless, with the Four of Diamonds, guess what? It still ended up okay. You still ended up in a very good place financially. So you were trying to hold on and trying to hold on, but really, 
really? Did you really need it, Taurus? <laughs> okay, no, that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the month, we have the death card reversed with the ace of hearts, consistent, yes, 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 nine of spades and the seven of hearts. So in the middle of the month with the death card reversed, there is a new beginning. And I feel like this is within you. You are going through some major shifts and you're trying to be more you're trying to be consistent, okay? You're trying to be consistent with the seven, with the nine of spades. You're letting go of a part of yourself that has been like hurting you. Like you've been hurting yourself, almost like you're your own worst enemy. Like you know that there's something that you need to do and you know you need to keep doing it. Like let's say you're, you're, um, you're, you're going for a 5K and then you know it's five months down the road and you know you need to prepare for it and you stop and you start and you stop and you start and you're like, I am never going to get that 5K, right? Yeah, you're kind of doing it to yourself. You need to get commit, committed to being consistent to yourself and I feel in the middle of the month, bam, that's going to happen. So whatever it is that you need to become consistent with, expect that energy to like push to push, to push you in the middle of the month. And you're like, where did I get all that energy from? Okay. All right. Now let's look at the end of the month. We have the full card reversed with the nine of diamonds, the strength card, the two of clubs, the six, oh, the nine of clubs. I feel like, I feel like by the end of the month with the full card, you are expecting something to happen at the end of the month. You're expecting to go somewhere. You're about to expect to do something different, but you don't, but you don't. The nine of diamonds is saying, and if it doesn't happen, you let it go. You have the strength here to let it go. You can, with the two of clubs, argue about this all day long, but that's not the spiritual thing to do. The spiritual thing to do is say, okay, that did not happen and I'm going to let it go. The more you nosh on it, complain about it, whine about it, argue about it, it's just kind of holding that negative energy there and just like making you feel not good and all of a sudden you got a headache, you can't sleep, let it go, okay? Just let, no, it didn't happen. Just let it go. It happens to the best of us, all right? Now, let's move on to, yes, 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 your bonus. You have the Ace of Cups reversed with the Knight, the Knight of Swords reversed with the Knight of Nine of Hearts, Mystery, Five of Diamonds, and the Five of Hearts. So I feel like with the Ace of Cups reversed, you are looking for a new beginning. And there's a discussion here and there. You're looking for a new beginning and it's just not moving. With the Knight of Swords, I feel like I feel like you're trying to push it. I feel like you're using everything in your body to push it. The nine of hearts is telling me that if you do, if you do push it, it's going to require more energy than you feel is worth the effort. And you, I feel like with the mystery card, you really don't even know why you have to do all of this work to make these changes, to change everything around you. And the reason being is because it's not time. It's like you can't take a cake out of the oven if it's only halfway done. And you can't turn, if, you, if a cake is meant to be baked at 350 for an hour, you can't put it at 500 for 15 minutes. It's not going to work. So this month, things feel like they're not, yeah, they're, they're not going as planned. But know that the universe is taking its time. God is taking its time, making things better for you. So if, it, if things are just not mm, like that's not working, I thought that was going to happen. They said they were going to do that or I said I was going to do that. That didn't pan out either. Know that the reason why is because it's just not time that makes sense. You can't have a baby. You know, you know, there's, there's certain things in this universe you just can't. It, it, it just, it just can't. You got to go to, you have to go to school. You have to, and you have to do all steps and blah, blah. It's not, I'm going to say it. It's not time. You can't, can't pick grapes for wine until it's time. So just take this month, let it go, go with the flow, and you will realize that you will feel a whole lot better complaining, fighting, arguing about things not going your way, not moving the way you want it, it's going to make you ill. 
and I don't want that for you, okay? So go with the flow, and when things are required to be let go of, please do so. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.